Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to American McGee's Grim. This is Pinocchio. Nearly every culture has a tale about how an ordinary piece of firewood becomes a dull-witted and naughty human child. The enchanted premise must appeal to something eccentric or unstable in the human brain. The story always begins with a humble carpenter, desperate for a son, but without the ability to acquire him in the usual way, he makes one out of wood. Pinocchio, come play with my pet termites. Is that Stump, your mother? I smell rotten wood. You stinkhead smell of pigs and old cheese. I'd kick your butts if my feet worked better. The wooden juvenile delinquent has a companion, as unlikely as himself, a talking cricket. Don't embarrass your father, Pinocchio. Be a good lad. Go to school. Shut up, cricket, or I'll squash you like a uh, bug. I want adventure. My school book was worth something. Father just didn't know what. The other puppets see Pinocchio as kin, and Fire Eater gives him some money for Geppetto. Hmm, will that money make it home? No, would be a good guess. Pinocchio, stay away from those hungry creatures. They are up to no good. They're not related to beavers, are they? Or termites? They look friendly enough. Oh, hello, boy. Perhaps you'd like to make a little mischief with us. Have a little fun, hmm? Fun by all means. Big fun. At least for some. Are you by chance holding any serious money? Fun is my middle name. Let's go! Idiot should be his middle name, and the cricket knows it too. Having so little character of his own, Pinocchio's a miserable judge of it in others. Hung up like laundry by would-be assassins, who are not so bright themselves, a fairy with blue hair rescues him. Forever the fool, Pinocchio suspects he was the victim of mistaken identity. Cat and Fox hung the wrong talking puppet. The mind boggles. Now he plants his money, expecting something. I'm not silly, you old pea brain. Though people do say I'm strange. Not bloody likely, here or anywhere else. Such silly creatures shouldn't be allowed to roam these mean streets. I seem to have uh, um misplaced some gold pieces, and I was um uh, wondering whether anyone had uh, turned it in. Well, your strangeness is going to jail for its own protection. So he does his time, and when he gets out of the jail, he manages to leave the simple village, we're not allowed to ask how, evidently, to look for the blue-haired fairy. Subject to being sidetracked from what's important by any nonsense, Pinocchio's search for the fairy with the azure coiffure is trumped by Toyland. He plays around for months, and then, because he's Pinocchio, finds out she's dead. I can't cry too much. What a warps would. Ah, oh, the sentiment, the depth of feeling, the... Ah, distraction heals the pain. If only it would do so much for me. Look, Cricket, a wonderful wagon and fine donkeys. I wish I was on it. I can see by your ears that the cliche, be careful what you wish for, would be wasted. You should be looking for your father. I wish you'd go... <laughs> A circus buys this newly minted donkey and takes him away to teach him tricks. But Pinocchio becomes lame and is sold to a man who has a different fate in mind for him. Come here, little donkey. I just want to pet you, so scan. Touch me again, you pervert, and I'll kick you into next year. I'll have your skin for a drumhead. Or know the reason why, you useless brother of a mule. In the course of his escape, the donkey transforms back into a marionette. But as he swims to land, he confronts a more aggressive obstacle. Is that you, father? Have I found you at last? You have, my boy. 
There must be worse places to live out our days. I hope you're right. I'll try to be grateful for what we have. Each other and the cricket, of course. Pinocchio is reunited with his creator in the belly of a gigantic shark. There's a whole community in there. Everybody's pretty happy, except the sun doesn't shine and it smells of rotted fish. Otherwise, it's tolerable. Not that anybody had a choice. That's a real ending? <laughs> real as the baby who never cries or the politician who never lies. Speaking of which, that lame bit about his telltale nose, rubbish! Like lying was his major problem. Horse poop! If you want to see how everything went off the rails, play on. Oh, how's he gonna do this one? Yeah, <laughs> getting wood. Geppetto crafts a self-animating puppet, and the craft is not the hammer and chisel sword. Make it stinky. Let's kill the clean. Okay, I I I, I like how he has it on like a witchcraft table with a pentagram. So I think that's a pentagram. I think that's what they're called, right? I don't know. I don't know my witchcraft. Ow! Not from Hogwarts. Oh. It's an ass. Look at all these other little puppets. I'm gonna get you, a little gnome. Yeah. Filthy gnome. Come here, bunny. Bastard. Run! The old carpenter had him. There's a dark art at work here. Make it foul. Okay, that was just kind of <laughs> randomly cut off. Come here, you ass. Ouch, girls. Jeez. Ooh, almost didn't make it there. <laughs> the fiend-powered wooden boy terrorizes the village despite his father's protests Ooh. and the best efforts of an insect. Well, no wonder boys will be boys. But wooden boys may be devils. <laughs> Make it rotten. Come here, child. Um. I see. What the? Oh, <laughs> I thought she was whacking something. But it turns out she was the one getting whacked. <laughs> Thanks for leading me to the secret puppy. Never left. Oh yeah! This naughty pine punk knows how to treat a gate. Nothing like a helping hurt from the powers of darkness.
Pinocchio trades his books for tickets to a puppet show. Naughty, but he can do more. Make it gross. Let's stomp them into submission! <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Can I get the Ferris wheel? Oh, please, ticket, oh, I can get the ticket booth for the Ferris Ow. wheel. Stinky. <laughs> I would like to destroy all of this stuff. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, look at them. They're sexy. Really? Why do you all have your hands up? Am I missing something here? Don't delay! I feel like I might be missing something. Stop it! Try it! Oh! Oh! Ow! That was rude. Pinocchio is accosted by cat and fox. Oh, <laughs> this is hardly a mugging. This looks like cuddling. We hate cuddling. Make it rotten. Okay, but first I want to turn this uh, Ferris wheel. Oh, I can't do it. Do I have to be foul? Oh, the boat thing. The boat thing. I got her in the boat thing too. So, let's try to get foul. Ooh, nice. Haha. <laughs> so close to foul. Haha. <laughs> Now, can I get... Yeah! Nice! And... Ferris wheel! Ooh. Now that's some sexy action! <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> Oh, you little froggies. Rumpin' stuff. Yeah, yeah, got it. Now I just gotta get across this lava flow. Stop it, go. Gotta get the bunnies. I have to get these friggin' bunnies. Bunnies are horrible. Horrible creatures. Stomping, stomping, good. Come here, bunnies. Get you. Rumpin', stomping, get you. I think I got it. The boy is a psychological wreck, not a criminal. Oh! Oh dear. Pinocchio buries his money, expecting it to multiply. What he should expect is misery, owing to the fact that he has sawdust for brains. Make it foul. 
make a mess. <laughs> I don't really know what else you would expect from a guy who, you know, is made of wood. Like, I, for one, would expect him to have sawdust for brains. But, you know, that's just me. I'm girls. Filthy. Kid niggas. You know, I don't know what a kid nigget is. Why did I even hear that? Hey, that didn't destroy the pumpkin. Or whatever that was. <laughs> Come, child. Oh. Gotcha. Who are you calling filthy? You little brats. Chomping stump. I get you guys. Honestly, how many of you guys are there back there? Did I get did I get them all? Chomp and stomp! Oh, nope. There's still a chicken. Gotcha. Chomp and stomp! Yes, yes, yes. Means nothing to me! I do as I please! <laughs> <laughs> Turn my gold pieces or I'll hold my breath! In the town of Simple Simons, Pinocchio reports his money stolen. Foolishness, even if misguided, should never go unpunished. Make it nasty. Alright. will all be converted. You will be assimilated. No, that is not a way up. Run! Run, my pretties! And of course, I didn't get this guy, but I believe I got him now. <laughs> Anybody hiding over here? You guys look much better this way. Don't delay! Yep. Huh? Alright. This, I guess, is not the way I go? Is there, like... Crazy parkour crap that I gotta do? Or did I miss something obvious? Oh, uh, is it one of the. Yeah, it's one of the. Oh! Oh! The frame drop. Well, your strangeness is going to jail for its own protection. <laughs> Pinocchio's impertinence lands him in jail. Certainly he was stupid, but criminal? No! He wants revenge, but he can't do more than yell at the guards. Make inside. it disgusting. <laughs> Good old Donkey Kong. And you have been controlled. Okay. Whoa. Done by water. Ignominious defeat. <laughs> Got ya. Oh shit. Come 
come on, fall. Apparently, I have to go up this way. Um, magically welding door. Fun thing about those is you only need to do one side. Pinocchio visits the land of toys. Blech, a place where children are happy. N'existe pas, in my experience. The idea is almost as wrong as a wedding. Let's make them all regret being here. Make it nasty. Really? You got you got me doing things with the water now. Let's muck it up! Oh, what? Right. Rims rotten now. That's what I figured would happen. Alright, All right, we'll go this way. <laughs> Just peeing over the edge. Let's go. And oh, nice. What do we have over here? Not a whole hell of a lot. Okay. Not even really worth going. So close to nasty. Let's put an end to this thing. <laughs> oh, I'm turning them all to asses. Alright, converted all of you. Now, what else do I need to convert? There's a Ferris wheel up there that actually looks like it's already been converted. Get off that. Alright, so I think I'm done on this island. Okay, getting around is tricky. One more. There we go. So I can't go that way. So my only choice is the, uh, this way. Come along, box. Haha. <laughs> disgusting. Drown, children! Drown! Pinocchio, slow as ever, doesn't realize the children are turning into donkeys. The childhood diversion, pin the tail on the donkey, becomes something more sinister in an adult city. Make it repulsive! Oh dear. Okay. Oh, we are now moving. 
Oh dear. I thought it was gonna move. What the hell? Didn't even jump. Am I going to be able to get to repulsive? <laughs> Just by going there? I hope so. Doesn't look like that island's big enough. Okay. Got you. And you. And... And you, and you go up and ha! Got it! Ha! <laughs> Run, children! All right, we got three pulses. Okay. There we go. Stomp it! Stop! Pinocchio is sold to a man who wants to use his skin as a drumhead. That's wonderfully despicable. Make it nasty. Let's grim it. Run, guys. Rum. He is feeding pirates. Got it. Convert you snails. Now. Disgusting. Snails turn to slugs. Children, pirating isn't just for adults anymore. Now I can do it. Go. gonna eat the whole island. Okay. Apparently so. Pinocchio and his fellow shark dwellers have built a merry village in the monster's belly. How ridiculous! Make it disgusting. Interesting. Very interesting. Now, nasty. Oh. Oh. 
Kid bait. It's gonna kick your ass. Or not. Make it repulsive. Whoa. Can I make that? Yep, apparently I can. Oh, cute. That should be right up Grim's alley. It's vile. Beating hard is just making me lose my marble. Rancid. <laughs> it is done. Geppetto and Pinocchio are reunited. A classic father and son reunion. But not complete without a little satanic ritual. <laughs> you sir! Pinocchio finally transforms into a boy. As if becoming human will make him less bad. Nah, real boys are just as naughty as the wooden satanic ones. Make it rotten. Sir, yes sir! It's grim time! Just ask, please there, Grim. Grim disgusting. Ow, ow, I Grim house. Ah, oh, that's oh. better. Let's make that real gross. This might be an instance of the rubric of no good deed goes unpunished. If we thought that turning a piece of wood into a boy was a good deed. Do it now. What now? Ah. So I just somehow have to get over to there. Can I walk through the water? I can. Excellent. Can I, can I... <laughs> Apparently I can just walk through everything. Okay. I'll take that. Oh, smash! I guess in this case, Pinocchio smash! It's just stabs. Ah! <laughs> that 
I'll show him. Right. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm guessing there's a secret over there. Super butt stomp! Oh! -ho! Yeah, I just took down the mountain. That really was a super butt stomp. Urgh, destroy the church. You know, the destruction just isn't all that destructive, to be honest. <laughs> okay, did they just use, like, the Zeus laser on him? Oh, he's destroying the planet. You've captured the dark implications of a walking, talking puppet. But who made this thing? An evil shaman? A necromancer? A demonologist? And how would such a twisted mannequin really treat the so-called normal world? This wild child makes delinquents and criminals vomit from fear. He's an ugly, murderous little brute with a taste for the suffering of others. <laughs> Reminds me of me. Run, hide, whine, cry. Means nothing to me. I do as I please. Must you be so mean, Pinocchio? What goes around comes around. What goes around is this rock. You rarely see a puppet with a good arm. I knew I didn't need a ticket. This cast appears to lack certain essentials, but he evidently really wants to see the show. Hello there, big boy. Up for something cruel, unusual, and very stimulating? Mm. She's talking about a religious experience, Skinny. Get your tiny mind out of whatever trough it was in. Okay, fine. As long as someone gets hurt. Little did he know, exorcism always hurts the exorcised more than the exorcisers, if that's a word. Funny that way. Hurt to help, they say. The boy is a psychological wreck, not a criminal. The world blames the victim. Always the simple response. What did he do to deserve... A bleeding heart with blue hair? It's too much! I suppose the blue-haired fairy has a point of sorts, but she misses one too. My gold pieces have vanished. I don't know who stole them or how, but everyone will pay for the insult. I like it like that. Return my gold pieces or I'll hold my breath. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll slay everyone in sight! And those out of sight too! Mm, he overplays his hand. In this village, that sort of reckless, if hyperbolic statement is regarded as a threat, and as such, immediately challenged. Look there! I've made those silly boys into useful or edible donkeys without even trying! Besotted by visions of power and his own nastiness, he mistakes his will for the dark art that made him. He never sees how his lack of brain power puts him at risk. Nice. <laughs> Bray of that, ya boob. You keep my fire stoked all winter. Look, everyone, a mad puppet on the loose. Slay the beast! Slay the beast! I'm happy to say that some serious crowd control will be required. Lives may be lost. See here again, Pinocchio speaks too soon. When he says he's happy, he knows not of what he speaks. 
Finally, Pinocchio, you found the way to the dark side. Oh. Oh. It was a great struggle to get you here. I'm sharing space with fish guts and rotten body parts because of you? Thanks, Dad! Don't be surly, or I'll make you into a real boy and feed you castor oil. We're here to fulfill my plan. <laughs> oh, Dad, you're beginning to sound very strange. Can we leave, please? Ah, yes, Pinocchio. You can leave. When Geppetto works his magic, you're about to take a ride. Don't you just love it when the shark blows up and everything else is unresolved? I mean, if you tried to put a bow around that mess, it would sink like an anchor in a fishbowl. May all our stories end so well. Until next time. Eh? This one seemed probably the most incohesive. Just kind of seemed a little more random. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you next time. Take care.